Um, I, I just noticed in a stat here, you guys have 18 sacks the first six games. That's top 10 in the league. You, you talked about Daniil a second ago. Um, just kind of what has it taken to, to really improve that stat based on, you know, some struggles in getting pressure on quarterbacks the last, you know, last season? What, what have you done to improve that this year? Yeah, I think it starts with, you know, guys like Daniil, Marcus, um, you know, DJ Wanham has shown up. Uh, we've been able to, you know, maybe where uh, the pressure packages haven't always equaled sacks, uh, it has forced teams to, you know, change the way they want to play, change the way they slide protections. They have to account for the threat of, of guys coming when they're down there around the line of scrimmage, specifically Harrison. Smith when he's down there, or maybe it's Metellus, maybe it's Byron Murphy off the slot. Um, but when you've put a lot of that on tape um, and all of those things are possible, uh, offenses have to account for that. So they're they're talking a little bit less about uh, making sure they have a great plan for Daniil or, or Marcus or DJ um, or any of our other guys. So I think it all kind of works together over the, you know, the, uh, the totality of these first six games and we've kind of seen the impact of that now we want to continue to marry the russian coverage together when we are bringing pressure what's it look like on the back end so that we're fundamentally sound and and, and covered from a standpoint of where people may try to attack us i thought we did a good job yesterday having a plan for dj moore and uh you know and 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 really commit and and uh mooney as well uh, they were able to make a couple plays here and there but you know for the most part i thought versus what had been a pretty explosive skill group over the previous couple of weeks. Our guys did a nice job um, on that while still finding a way to get pressure and and uh, force the quarterback off the spot and, and and get him on the ground a few times. I've got one more as well. There's There's been a lot of chatter since the slow start, not getting the results you wanted in the win column. Uh, I guess obviously getting the win yesterday was huge, but what have you guys done to block the outside noise of, you know, are certain players on the trading block? Are you going to make certain moves? What have you done to block all that out, knowing that, you know, how big it was to get the first division win yesterday? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, my job is to continue to get the team to focus on the things we can control, which is our performance, uh, our response to um, some adverse situations that, that a lot of times we've caused ourselves uh, through some of the early turnover issues. Uh, some of the, you know, the critical plays here against our defense on some longer yardage plays, uh, you know, all three phases, uh, what my challenge to those guys continues to be. And, and I thought they did a great job with that yesterday is regardless of what happens uh, either against us in that phase or another phase that you've got to then come in and try to overcome, uh, look at it as an opportunity uh, to respond and, 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 and do it for the better men of the team and and we saw that yesterday with a couple of those uh you know critical turnovers that our defense forced you know jordan's interception then turns into a a two-minute opportunity that we take down the and and kind of build on one play and then the offense comes in you know on a day we weren't as successful as we wanted to be by any stretch uh that drive was very indicative of taking advantage of an opportunity that 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 we were able to create um you know, and, and the defense was able to kind of set the tone no matter the circumstance, no matter uh, whether it was coming off of a three and out or coming off of, uh, you know, the, the ball getting tipped out of Kirk's hands and, you know, on the on the fumble. Um, we responded yesterday on the road uh, when, you know, it would be very easy for us to uh, either allow that noise to start overtaking part of our preparation or overtaking our ability to execute in the game. Uh, keep it about that that phase, one play at a time, and uh, you know, use look at it as an opportunity uh, to go make a play for you know to put the team back on track to where we want to be. And I thought there were examples of that, you know, s some easier to see than others, uh, but there were examples of that all over uh, the field yesterday that contributed to us coming away with a win um, when we still have a lot of things we need to continue to improve on. 